Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My brothers and sisters, a lot of people are starting to feel stuck Feeling stuck in the sense where you're going to work, you're working a job You're not really progressing the way you wanted to um, Things are getting more expensive and so you feel like you're stuck Well this video is for you, I know a lot of people are in this situation What should you or what can you be doing? Now look, number one, the most important thing when you are feeling stuck Is to understand you're feeling stuck now, that sounds crazy, right? You're like, well, you stayed in the obvious. No, but hear me out, okay? Because actually, a lot of people will continue working their jobs, continue 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the evening, you know, continue Monday to Friday, in the evening, spend time at home, weekends, try to recover from the lack of sleep that they've had from Monday to Friday, and then uh, won't really understand why they're feeling burnt out or you know just not happy so understanding the problem is the first part of the solution so if you're in a situation where you're not happy at least reflect think about it what's not making you happy understand accept it and then we'll start working with a solution so if you're in a situation now you're like you know what i'm not happy what can i do well if you want to come up with a business if you want to come up with a side hustle if you need to come up with another stream of income you have to by the way because you can't be you know successful in terms of wealth or have a ton of money by working a job it's not possible to be honest so let's say now you come up with a business idea well you don't have a business idea okay step one how do you come up with a business idea most people who are struggling to come up with a business idea will not sit down for half an hour, just half an hour a week trying to come up with a business idea. People will say, I don't have an idea. I don't have an idea. I don't. Brother, why don't you just sit down for half an hour and spend some time trying to come up with a business idea? Because if you spend 30 minutes a week coming up with a business idea, I guarantee you'll probably have much more luck coming up with a business idea after three, four, five months compared to if you did nothing. So most people think that a business just comes to you by nothing. And the reality is you do have to put some effort in. You have to do some research. You have to you know, think about these things. Only then will you come up with an idea. And even if you don't come up with the idea, you come up with like other ideas, put them together, you know, put a little twist, turn it up, and then you might come up with the idea you want to do. Now, then people will say, yeah, but I don't have the time because I'm working a job. Well, but my brother or my sister, it doesn't make sense. What you're saying is you're unhappy. You're not happy in what you're doing. You do have a business idea, but you don't have enough time. Okay. Do you have enough time to chill in the evenings, spend time with your friends, watch a film, play some PlayStation? It doesn't make sense why you can't spend one hour a week. It doesn't make sense how you can't spend one hour a day on a side hustle, on a business, on something which is going to make you a lot more happier in the long term compared to working your job. If you've already understood that, that's not going to make you happy. One hour, just one hour a day. Like how can you not spend one hour a day on something that you want to be doing in the future? It doesn't make sense, man. If you're coming home at six o'clock in the evening, just dedicate one hour to yourself a day, including then maybe two hours on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, work on your side hustles. It's not about making a ton of money in the beginning. The reality is this, if you can even make 50 pound a month, the proof of concept is there. Now, let me explain that, proof of concept. If you have made even 50 pound from a something, right, whatever that is, 50 pound a month, the fact is you have made some money from something and it might just be a case now of spending more time, spending, you know, over a long time, because obviously if you continue to do something over a long time, you're going to make more money. So it might just be you need to give it more time. You need to spend more time on it. You need to focus on it. You need to spend, you know, work harder on it to make more money. The proof of concept is there because you've made money on your concept. So I will say this, that one of the biggest reasons to why you're feeling stuck is because you're not taking action. Not taking action is going to result in you feeling more lazy, more sluggish, more, you know, depressed, and sad because the reality is you're doing nothing about it you know you're capable of it and that's all i'm saying if you're capable of doing something for yourself then go do it makes no sense why you're going to sit there and say you know what i can't do it because i work a job i can't do it because i haven't got the funds i can't okay funds right you haven't got the money then start working a service-based business uh speak to people who might have some money and see if they will do a partnership with you it's not terrible. If it means you can start working towards your goals and your hustles and that sort of thing, then do it. Because I genuinely believe where there is a will, there is a way. And so, you know, if you don't have the money right now, start a business, which is a service-based business. And what that basically means is, you know, uh, if you are good at something, then spend time towards giving that something to someone in return for money. 
That could be anything. Uh, rewind that if you have to and make it make sense. But the point is this. Give someone something that you have and in return ask for money. So there's always a will. You know, buy products in batches and sell them. If it means just making 100 or 200 pound more, that is much better than you getting promoted and making 400 pound. And let me be very clear in this. You getting promoted and making 400 pound extra a month is not as good as you making 200 pound from an extra side hustle because an extra side hustle you make 200 pound a month from can in four months be making five, six, 700 pound and in two years be making 1500 or 2000 pound. But you making that sort of money from a promotion is close to impossible. Do the maths for yourself. Like 1500 pound increase in your salary is close to 30, 35,000 pounds extra a year. So if today you're on 30,000 pound, it means you're gonna be on 60 to 65,000 pound for you to see a 1500 pound increase in your base salary. Ridiculous, by the way, it's not even possible. I mean, even if it is, can you do that again? Can you do that again in, you know, uh, three, four, five years, for example, can you make that 1500 now 3000? You know what I mean? If you do it once, you're not going to be able to do it twice. It's just very hard and not possible. And so side hustles, businesses and working for yourself is the only way. Now, I know many are going to disagree with me at this point and I get it, but just try. That's what I say. Try work on yourselves. Try work on your hustles. Try work on yourself. Take the step. Take the step and, you know, leave the rest of Allah as a result. But that is all for me today. Barakallah feet. Make sure to like this, by the way, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're going to put out more and more good content. So, inshallah, keep up to date with it. Barakallah feet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.